people say it as a cliche, you know, if you want to understand Iranian culture, read the Shahnameh. But there's a lot of truth in it. I mean, the, a lot of what, what is in the Shahnameh um, is still present in Iranian culture. Um, I mean, despite the fact that many of the mullahs would like it not to be there, but it is still present in Iranian culture. It, you, as you say, it's time agnostic. Mm. It, it crosses time periods. Um, Ferdowsi is easily comparable to Shakespeare. I mean, he's, just, he's just certainly as great an author as Shakespeare, mm. um, uh, if not greater. Um, so my feeling for... I, how do you, the sorry, more I read how do you, Shana, how do you, how do you come to that... Uh, uh, not why is fair to see as good as Shakespeare, but how do you even compare? Is it, are you talking about the strength of storytelling or, or characters or, I mean, how do you, when you think about what you just said, what, what do you actually mean that um, fair to see is as strong as Shakespeare? Well, I, I would say the same of Nez Almi, but it's for completely different reasons. With Ferdowsi, what you have, you have a sense of the of the depth and complexity of life, and you have a you have a, a strong sense of of um, humane generosity towards different ways of living. Mm. You get, and you get that in Shakespeare. That is. Um, a, the fact that the Shahnameh is so long is important. If you only read bits of it, you're only getting a bit of it. You're only getting a bit of what, what, it, what, what it says. Mm. Because there is such variety in it. There's, there's such um, richness in it. Uh, and you get all these, these different versions of how to live and what it is to be human, which Ferdowsi is, is, is every... I mean, he doesn't make the stories up. He, re, he gets the stories from elsewhere, but he uses the stories to examine the things he's interested right, in. Right. And it's clear that what, he's interested in questions of conscience, what should the good man do. It's very, very um, strong. People always say that the Chalamet is an epic, and of course it is an epic, but the great thing about most epics is that your side has to win. Um, <laughs> and of course, that, that, that's important in the Shahnameh too. The Iranians have to win. But the great heroes in the Shahnameh, they don't ask themselves, how do I win? They ask themselves, what must I do to be good? What is the ethically uh, uh, right thing to do? Uh, it, it, it's, what, it's Shakespearean also in the sense of, I mean, probably not just Shakespearean. Uh, this is probably a hallmark of great poetry. You tell me if it isn't. But but the the questions that are being asked are particularly time agnostic right it's not it's yeah. not it's not how do we win the war in 1940 it's it's big questions around humanity morality love that really are as relevant today as they would have been 2000 years ago absolutely i mean it's it's absolutely true i i um, pe people say it as a cliche you know if you want to understand Iranian culture read the shanome but there's a lot of truth in it i mean the, a lot of what what is in the shanome um is still present in Iranian culture. Um, I mean, despite the fact that many of the mullahs would like it not to be there, but it is still present in Iranian culture. It, you, as you say, it's time agnostic. Mm. It, it crosses time periods.